Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm gonna unbox the game Night Miriam. Um, I recently got this one in my mail and uh, let's open this up and show you what's inside the box. First of all, I kind of want to uh, show you how well this package actually is. It's so well sealed, I don't even know how to open it. So, big thumbs up for that. <laughs> okay, let's open it up and see what's inside the box. Let's be careful, because I don't know, I bought my cutting. Oh, that's close to the box. <laughs> Plastic. Uh, okay. uh, so it's a very small car game, but the artwork is quite nice looking. A game about conquering nightmares. Okay, so it's a game by the company Igrology Tesepa, well, a bunch of Russian companies. I, I don't know how to pronounce their name. But as you can see, it's a quite neat looking little box. Uh, it's a two to five player game. Takes around 20 minutes. It's for uh, people about more than 10 years old. So let's open it up and have a look inside of it. Oh, nice. It has some kind of small little inlay in it. So we're getting the rule book. It's very. No, it's not the rule book. Is this the rule book? Can be. I think it's just some kind of uh, fluff text or some thank you note from uh, because backing it. Uh, some more promo for the new Kickstarter Jekyll Archipelago. And here we have two packs of cards. Oh, here is the rule book. So it's uh, it's quite a little rule book. Quite a bit bigger than I expect now. With some, yeah. It does look simple to learn. Okay, let's have a look what's inside those packages. Here's my knife. Or my scalpel at least. <sighs> Come on. Open up. Damn, those packages are real tight. Okay, so the cards are thicker than expected, and we do get some artwork. So the main purpose of this game is to create your own creatures, like this one. Now you have some funky-looking creature on my 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 table. Uh, I don't know how the scoring works, but the only thing I kind of been attracted to this game is because the artwork is quite good looking. Look at those faces of those monsters. So you have to create your own creatures, and I suppose you can can attack. Oh damn, that's a lot of damage. It's kind of cruel actually. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's some. <laughs> damn, the artwork is quite brutal. I thought the artwork would be like a bit more for kids, but uh, damn, <laughs> that's that's nice looking artwork. Oh, damn, look at that creature over here. Look at that thing. That's 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 awesome. I'm being a bit close to the camera so you can have a bit more focus on it. But this game has absolutely beautiful artwork. I didn't know what to expect from this Kickstarter, uh, but I'm kind of stunned by the artwork. Damn! Look at look at the look at those creatures you can create. Those are very well. I would say good-looking creatures, but they are all ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> They're so ugly, but ugly in a good way. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, <laughs> let's see what's inside of this one. If it's going to be more like modifications for your your creatures. <laughs> that was my knife again, rolling on the table. So we are getting the creature abilities cards. Uh, so you're gonna have, I suppose, more explanation about uh, I don't know what. See an axe, so this creature is going to be an executioner. Add top card from any other player's creature to your hand. All right. 
Wow. <laughs> I is it an idea or is every does every card has a different artwork? Or oh yeah, they all have different artwork. There are no doubles in it. Or is this just an idea to me? It's it's very well made. I mean they they really fit together. I mean, I don't know if this one is that beautiful creature, but it, it does fit. See, you have another head and it does fit again. But you have to move it a little, like a little bit, or maybe I'm just not centered to it. No, it fits. Okay. Big thumbs up. I really does like this game. <laughs> Look at these slime feet. <laughs> All right. I'm more excited than expected. I'm really more excited. Look at his head. The artwork is just stunning. I have no idea how the gameplay is. No idea at all. But I'm quite stunned about the, the this beautiful artwork. I mean, I don't know how many cards this game have. It's not written on the back neither. I'm not planning to count them. But they do have a decent amount of cards, as you can see, with, with all decent artwork on it. There is like none. Not one card I really dislike. I just don't know anything about the gameplay. And if you look at this, you have like six creature abilities and like three phases how you're you're planning the game. So I don't think the game is quite hard to learn, but I do think it's quite fun to have those creatures you can create on your table, like with different heads. I mean, it's very cool. It's very cool. Look, look just look at this. I create like a very freakish monster. <laughs> okay, so this is Nightmarium by uh, a lot of different uh, Russian companies I can't pronounce the name of. Um, I'm gonna try. Oh, what's this? Is this the, your baker number or something? That little sticker over here, 93. No idea what is the sticker over here, but 93. <laughs> no idea why. But anyway. Night Miriam by uh, a lot of different <laughs> Russian companies. I'm just gonna do a shout out again, like Agrology, Musigura Mglan, and Teshira. Nobody. Okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.